Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I am going to take this narwhal and we're gonna make it big. Not super big, but big for a float. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I have this up on Etsy just so that you can see the designer that I used. I have looked at the file. I did record one and it came out glitchy, which is why I'm re-recording it. So um, this file is not the best file. However, I did use it, so if you want to get it, I do show you how to uh, do a bunch of workarounds, and it's a good learning experience. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, before I flip over to Design Space, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support in any way, shape, or form. All right, let's go into Design Space. So this is the Narwhal 23 inches. For whatever reason, it was... For, it was a glitchy recording, and then secondly, I went to go cut it, and Design Space is saying there's an error in that project for some reason, so I'm redoing it. All right, so here we go. We're in a new project. Uh, let's go to Upload, and it's gonna be the Narwhal. It's super cute, the, the, the image itself, but let me, once I, we upload it, I'm gonna show you all the issues that I have with it. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it, so. It doesn't matter so much, you know, if, if it's a learning experience, then it's all good, right? All right, first thing that you may notice is it comes in like this. The face is not where it's supposed to be, the horn's not where it's supposed to be. So I'm going to ungroup it, because even though it's okay, like even if it's the right size or whatever, for me visually, I, I need to see it on the project. So I'm going to just move it to where I think it should go. <laughs> and this will just help me. I don't know. I need to see it that way. All right. When you look at this project, there's only a few things to it, which is why normally if I saw the files like all weird and then I start looking over here and if I don't like it, I will sometimes will just go in and do more research and find a different file because sometimes the files are so junky that it would take so long to make it workable and you know our time is too valuable for that so anyway this one's okay because it's literally just a few pieces right but if you scroll down over here this is it it's just the individual <laughs> it's just the individual pieces so we don't have a black background and we actually don't have any of these um like the black outline to even differentiate between the pieces. So if you were, try to imagine it, and the best way that I can show you is like this little heart in here, okay? So I'm going to just take this out. You see that this heart, there's no black background here, or outline, and it's just this heart. So it's just gonna be a blue on blue, and sometimes I feel like uh, with these projects because you can see it behind me we can always see that black outline it's gonna look more like the I don't know just what we're used to seeing so I'm going to try to recreate that as well for here all right so I'm gonna put this heart back um so the other thing that you may notice is um what else did I oh that's it Let's try, so let's, first of all, I'm gonna make this 23 inches. And the reason why I'm making it 23 inches is because I want a few seams, if any, and I don't wanna make it too big because I need to make this project fast. <laughs> so this is totally fitting my needs. Maybe not yours, but um, you know, it's good to do a smaller project every now and then. Um, yeah, I need this to be in just a few pieces. I need to whip it up because it is for my daughter's softball float. They're the narwhals. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a few narwhal projects, but you know, like I said, it's good to do things in different sizes and kind of show you the different things, the different issues that may come because of the different sizing. Um, okay, so first thing is let's do an offset. And the reason why I did it at 23 inches is because um, I'm gonna use 12 by 24 cardstock. So in my head, 23 inches, I'm not gonna have to slice it top and bottom. I'm probably just gonna slice it in half. So I'm hoping to really minimize this project as much as I can. 
So let's do the offset. I want a tiny offset. I'm gonna do 0 0.1 of an inch. So there's my outline. I'm going to apply it. Okay, so that's my solid, solid black background. This little guy, all the individual pieces, I'm gonna wanna do an outline on them too as well so that you can kind of just see all around it. So here I'm going to do an outline. I'm gonna apply it. Um, I'm also gonna do it on, oops, did that get applied? Oh, there's my outline. Um, weird. It did a weird funky outline. If you see, it didn't turn black. And I wonder if it's still glitchy. All right, let's do an outline on this one and see what we have. Okay, so this one did it. It gave me a solid. See how this one it's not solid. So we're going, I'm going to delete this one. Redo this. Okay, that one worked. You saw me do that, right? Okay, so I'm going to do it on the cheeks. Oh, this we need to ungroup. Um, now this is already black, so I'm not going to do a black outline. Same with the eyes. So the, this is the only thing left that I'm going to do an outline. Now I'm going to duplicate it and go to contour and I'm going to separate it because right now it's showing attached as two cheeks, but I don't want to be so inefficient on the cutting mat where there's like a big uh, space in between the two. So I'm going to separate them so that they're two individual little dots. And then I'm gonna do the outline. Okay, so let's grab offset, apply, and give me a second. And this one as well, offset. So all these individual pieces, of course, are going to be seamless, right? They're small, six, seven inches by seven inches. So here we go. This, I think we're good. We need to ungroup that as well. And if we want to on this one, let's see what we have here. Okay, so the black pieces are fine by themselves. The whites, I'm going to, oh, we can ungroup the white as well. Okay. So weird, some things you can ungroup, some things you have to slice. Um, all right, let's look at these, what's left. <laughs> We've got this. So this is showing as, you know, 20 inches by five inches. We're just gonna duplicate and then contour one, one side from the other. So on this first one, I'm gonna select this bottom one and it's gonna give me just the left piece. And then on this one, we're gonna contour and we're gonna get rid of the left piece and leave the right piece. So now these two pieces can be cut really close to each other. We've got this guy, which of course we need to slice in half. Now the black outline, I'm gonna to go to contour and just make sure that it's all filled in. I want a solid black line, a solid black outline. I want all my colored pieces to sit on top of it. I want it to be easy to transport and move around. Okay, so this guy is 23 and a half inches. So it, I think it's perfect. So let's do a square. So at 23 and a half inches, I can cut on a 24 inch, 12 by 24 inch piece of cardstock. I do need to cut this in half. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a shape and I'm gonna grab a square. We're gonna unlock the square and make it, let's bring it over here. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make it 11.5 by 23.5. And grab both the narwhal and the sheet, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna to go to align. We wanna align left so that 
they both line up at the same left point and we want to align top. So now I know that my square or my rectangle is lined up with the narwhal. They're both to the left and they're both at the top at the same place so that when I go to slice this, I'm slicing it literally in half. So I'm grabbing the two items and I'm slicing it. Now both pieces should be pieces that I can cut with 11 by 12 by 24 cardstock. We shall see. <laughs> um, okay. So this is 10.2 by 23.4, so I can cut that on my Cricut. Delete, delete the excess. And then here's this guy. This guy is 11 and a half by 20, perfect. And then I'll have all these little black pieces that I'll cut, you know, with the black. So I'm gonna save this and hopefully I don't have any issues with this. Narwhal. 23 inches and we're going to go to the make it screen and see what we have um you know let's go to color sync really quickly though i wonder okay all the pinks are the same shade so you can see right here um the eyes for some reason are a different black so we're going to change that let's change that i i want them all to be black black <laughs> So we'll just move these pieces. Why is it not letting? Okay, there we go. And you can just drag and drop. So we've got two different blues, which I'm okay with. Uh, we've got a light blue over here. That's okay too, just so that we have different shades. Yellow, pink, and white. Pretty easy project. Let's go to make it. Project is incompatible. Why? Let's go back to the layers and see what we have. What can we look at to see why this is not compatible? Oh, the blue. I totally forgot about this guy. Um, darn it. So let's, oh my gosh, I totally, I blinked. Okay, I thought we were all done when we're not. Okay. Let me put this back together. I'm gonna to show you. I forgot all about this piece. I knew that there was gonna be a seam in the blue because it's a big blue piece, right? Um, let's arrange and send to the front. So it's gonna look like this. I'm kind of putting everything, not everything back together, but we're gonna to have to slice him somewhere over here. So I want to insert a bat. So let's insert a baseball bat. And this, okay, I was gonna say this is not a good sign that it's taking so long. I'm not getting a good warm and fuzzy feeling. I hope this is not gonna glitch this recording either. Okay, so let's grab um I wanna do this bat and I'm gonna tell you why. I want the two colors and I also wanna put, you know, like narwhals right here. So I'm gonna add to canvas. And make it kind of big because I want it to go kind of across and basically cover my seam that's going to come through right here so I think that looks good and that's going to cover whatever seam I have so um, let's unlock this and see how big this is so this is 21 inches by three inches basically two and a half inches okay so um, we can make this a little bit bigger. Oh shoot, hold on, sorry. I need to, I should lock it. 
lock it back up. So I'm gonna grab that, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then let's unlock it now to see the true measurements. Okay, um, so I'm gonna lock it back up, make it a little bit smaller because it was more than 24 inches and I don't want to slice this. I want it to be just nice and neat. Okay, 22.4, great. So we're gonna keep that, we're gonna duplicate it because it is just one right now. So basically it's a black uh, bat with cutouts, right? So I duplicated this piece and on this one I wanna go to contour. I want to get rid of the black pieces and I wanna keep the white only. So interesting that it changed it to black. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this two times because I want three copies. I'm gonna go to contour and isolate each piece so that I can have single pieces. So I'm gonna leave the butt of the baseball bat. So there's that piece. And I'm gonna change this to white. I don't know why it defaulted to black. All right, this one, I'm gonna contour, and we're gonna get rid of these two pieces and keep the top of the bat, okay? And again, I'm gonna change that to white as well. And then now this one, I'm gonna need that middle part, contour, Okay, and I'm gonna change that to white. So my bat, I'm gonna make this bat actually go to contour, I'm gonna make it solid. So it's gonna be solid black. I'm gonna add the white pieces onto it like this. So it's gonna be in a couple pieces. And then I'm likely going to add HTV and type in narwhals right here. So this piece is about two inches, so I'm gonna go to text, and I'm gonna type narwhals, and I'm gonna change it to varsity font because I like, whenever it's sports related, I kinda like the whole varsity look, everyone, and it's easy to read. Whoa. <laughs> that is not what I typed. So it somehow switched my, man, I sure hope design space is not glitching on me right now. Okay, I'm moving this over. I'm gonna make it 1.8 inches tall. And it's a little bit too big, right? So I'm gonna unlock it and make the, make it thinner, but keep the height. Cause I don't want it to be hard to weed and cut. So, all right, that's what it looks like. Let's zoom in and see what this font looks like. Okay, perfect. That's an easy font to read and to cut, right? Okay, so we're gonna keep that. Let's zoom back out. Okay, so he, the only thing left we have to do is this little guy. So he, we would need to slice him this way, okay? Because I want the bat to kind of go this way as well. So let's bring in a shape. Let's get this and we will make this the same thing. We're gonna unlock it and change it from two inches to 11 and a half by 23.5. But in this case, I'm going to do something like this, right? Cause I want the bat to kind of go along with the, um... so let's move this up here so we can kind of see where the arms are. 
because we're gonna want the bat to go kind of like not in the face right but something like this all right so I'm gonna grab that hit the shift key and grab the blue narwhal and slice and hopefully I'm slicing it into two pieces that I can cut on 12 by 24 cardstock. Let's see what we got. Uh, 14 by nine, okay, good. And I think this one will be fine as well once we rotate it a little bit. Yeah, we're good, okay. Now we're good. I don't know why there's a little, it looks like there's a little pin dot in that thing. I'm going to just get rid of it. I'm telling you, not my favorite file. All right, now we can save it. Now we're ready to make it. So I just wanna show you what the, uh, what the make it page looks like. I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna piece it together. No, I got that red sign earlier. Okay, I don't know why I can't cut it, but I wanna cut it, but I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, bye.